All right, good, good afternoon and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. These are going to be your asynchronous instructions for our next lab, which is the Mystery Mineral Lab. In this lab, you're going to be practicing calculating density to identify an unknown substance. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. These are our uh, objective and background. Our objective is to determine the identity of a mineral using density. And I've put in our density triangle right here for you to reference. The background, density is the mass per unit volume of an object. It is a quantitative way to measure the property of a mineral which relates to the mineral's composition and arrangement of atoms. You can determine the relative density of a mineral when you hold two objects. The denser object will feel heavier. You can also use the mass and volume of each object to calculate its density. Density is equal to the mass of the object divided by the volume of the object. So density equals mass divided by volume. We can use physical properties such as luster, hardness, streak, color, and density to identify different minerals. So what this background is telling you is that sometimes you could hold two or three minerals in your hand and you can try to determine if the mineral is more dense based on how much it weighs. So the heavier one tends to be the more dense one. Um, if you, if we were in class, you would be able to hold these minerals and kind of gauge, oh, like this one feels a little bit heavier, this one feels very light, um, and you're going to place them in order. But because we're doing this virtually, you're going to have to just look at the pictures and I'll explain it in a second. So this is our star reference material. The formula chart is below. This is what you're allowed to use on any test in sixth, seventh, or eighth grade uh, in reference to chemistry, okay? So over here on the right hand side, it says which formula on the chart will you use to identify the unknown mineral samples? So we are working with density. So here's density, and this is the formula you're going to type right here. I want you to type your answer here. Okay, this is called the guess method. This is a method that we like to use. It really spells out and helps you identify exactly what you have so you know what you're solving for. Okay, uh, the example here is calculating density using the guess strategy. Guess means what is given. U is, uh, G for guess is what is given. U is what is unknown. What is it that you're looking for? E is which equation will you use? The first S is substitute, so you're going to plug in your numbers where they go. And then the final S is to solve. So they work out an example for you. And uh, it says the mass of a mineral is found to be 14 grams and has a volume of 2 milliliters. What is the density of the mineral? Okay, so if I follow this chart, what is given? Well, it tells me mass, mass is right here, and it tells me volume, volume is right here. So I'm gonna plug those two items here. What is unknown? What is it that I'm solving for? The question asks, what is the density? So I'm going to solve for density, the density of the mineral. That's what I'm looking for. E equation, this is where you're gonna write the equation down. So density equals mass divided by volume. The first S is substitute. So you're going to substitute your numbers where they would go. So I would put 14 for mass, because that's the mass, and I would put two for volume. And then I'll solve, that's my final S. So 14 divided by two is seven grams per milliliter. This is a really, really simple strategy that you can actually use in math or any other content area where you would be solving um, mathematical equations. I highly recommend it, but for science, we're definitely going to be using this, so I advise you to get more comfortable with it. On slide five, I want you to practice. It gives you a different word problem. I want you to practice typing in what is given, what's unknown, the equation, substitute, and solve. And I've even put in a calculator for you if you don't have one available. And then we're going to start on our lab. This lab has several parts. Part one says examine the following minerals and you're going to drag and drop 
to arrange the different mineral samples in a line, this line below, from least to greatest according to their densities. Now I realize you do not have these minerals in hand. You can't touch them and gauge how much they weigh. So you're really going to have to just look at them and take your best guess. There's no wrong answer here. So if you know that quartz is kind of heavy, you've seen it before, maybe you want to put it down here. Um, gypsum, I don't know. That one looks kind of heavy. This one looks really heavy. I'm going to put this one here. And then talc, I'll put that one there. And then I'll do biotite and halite. You, you pick whatever order you think works best for you. Okay. So that's how you're going to complete part one. Part two says using the given mass and volume for each of the unknown minerals. The unknown minerals are these. These are the unknown minerals. In the table below, you will calculate their density using the guess strategy. Record your answer in the following data table. Now, I realize there is not a lot of space here. Okay. You do not have to type in all of the parts of guess. If you want to just give me the equation, substitute and solve, I will accept it. Okay, so we are gonna be solving for density on all of them. So I know that my equation is going to be D equals M divided by B. Now I'm just gonna plug and chug. So I'm gonna put 6.51 D equals 6.51 for mass divided by three uh, for volume. And then I'm gonna solve. Okay, so I have a calculator here, but I'm gonna pull up the one on my computer. And that's 6.51 divided by three equals 2.17, so 2.17 grams, you have to include this in there, grams per milliliter. Okay, so this is sample number one. Well, I don't know what sample number one is. So you're going to do this calculation for all of these uh, minerals on slide seven and eight. Then when you get to slide nine, this is when you're going to figure out which mineral matches that sample. So let's go back to number one, my example. The density for number one was 2.17 grams per milliliter. That's sample number one. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna find 2.17. There it is. And in the mineral sample number, I'm just gonna type in sample number one. You're gonna do this for all of them. And what it'll do is it'll tell you which mineral is most dense and least dense. So if I was curious to see, oh, well, which one was halite? I can come back to slide six. Oh, okay, this one has a density of 2.17. Okay. And then on the final slide, part four, you're just going to respond to the following analysis questions based on your calculations. So according to your number line, in part one, which one did you think had the greatest density? So if I was to go up, I thought magnetite had the greatest density, and that's what I would type in here. I would just type in magnetite. Good. Okay, and you're going to do that for all of these questions here. And once you are finished with these questions, you will be all done with the lab and you can turn it in. Have a great day.